want to do here is I want to glue in some filler tiles. This is all going to get covered with a tough surround. So I just went and found some tiles that don't match any color in the building. And uh, I'm just going to cut them out so they fit. and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to use Loctite Power Grab Heavy Duty. And uh, what we do, take the back, we get some caulk going. Hold on a second. Okay, so let's try that again. Just filler tiles, folks. This is getting a tub surround. But I don't want to have like a loose low spot underneath my ceramic top or my uh, tub surround. So I fill it in. I f these are in our boiler room, there's a whole pile of these old tiles that we're going to use. So I filled in that quarter inch that was missing, and everything, my glue gets skim coated right over top, and I'll be right back at you. giving myself a measurement from the line I have 15 inches this direction I got 15 inches and from my line 15 inches okay so now I want to go from the tub up and I got four and three-quarter 
four three quarter. And from here to here, I have nine and seven eighths. Nine and seven eighths. All right, we're gonna go do the tub surround. All right, so we're gonna lay out this tub surround. We got um, 15 inches from the right side over. So let's make two two marks, 15 and 15. And then our tub spout was at four and three quarter. Are you seeing this? Four and three quarter. And our knob was at nine and seven eighths. Nine and seven eighths. All right, so we get the level and let's make our marks. So we got our 15 inch center line, and I'm not writing on the plastic, there's a uh, plastic film on here. And here is our two marks, our joining marks. For this one, I got to get two bolts in there, and I use this hole saw. And you'll see here in a minute. And I always drill in the cardboard, so it's nice and nothing because it drills right in the right through into the cardboard. and mark all the way around the perimeter up on the tile so I know where to put the glue. All right, so I hold this baby in place where it needs to go. And I have a level line here, and we're going to try to stick with that as best we could. We have to go with actually what the tub is, not, not planet Earth. To understand that I have no choice but to go with what this tub is. Alright, so I'm going to put referencing marks going up around the top so my glue, my glue doesn't go beyond that and I'll put a mark over on this side and I'm in a mortar joint so let's go get our glue ready. Alright, so it's going to take about one and a half to two tubes to do this. So put it on there. We got our marks. We're going to trowel it out nice and smooth with a notch trowel. Get the glue on there. It will make it nice. careful where these tiles I just glued in place are not completely cured yet, but they will be in this 
shower ain't going to be used for weeks and weeks and weeks. This will be bone dry by the time somebody takes a shower in here. Pan out here and show you the whole thing really quick before I stick it. Alright, so looking at that whole wall, that whole area is ready. So I'm going to go get the piece and we're going to stick it in place. determine where this thing is sitting. I want this bottom factory edge like tight against against there. And I'm going to go get a wet rag. So I have a wet rag and uh, I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to make sure I put pressure everywhere. So we have good adhesion. Good adhesion, Daniel Sagna. We do not want the tub surround to have like a dent inward right here, so that's the only reason we're sticking these in. Just filler. It's all getting covered, folks. Relax.
let's give these little buggers a chance to set up. So we have glue on this entire wall and we're about to stick the big one. Be right back at you. Alright, so that panel is glued in place securely. Fac factory edge is tight against the tub. We are going to put this piece on now and the two, then the two corners. So let me set this right up and I'll be back at you. Okay, so I snipped some more of this glue up here on the uh, third wall and uh, we're going to put this one in place. We want the factory edge at the bottom tight. Tight, I say, tight. Tight. And then lay it in. And then get your wet rag. And wipe it in. Wipe it nice and tight. The air out of that. Use a little roller. Just have a little Formica roller, and it must have got wheels and left me, like everything else. All right, so that the bazunga and a piece of plastic. Zulu, look how beautiful that looks already. All right, so we're about to get some corners going here and cap this baby off. All right, so we pre-glue this and stick it in place and rub it out. You know, rub it out. All right, glued. So now we are going to put solder the... Uh, Male fitting onto that copper pipe so we could screw the tub spout on and put the excussion ring and the knobs assembly together. Let's get started with that now. Alright, so I want to cut this, clean this, flux this, solder it. I have my mark. Right here, I'm going to cut it, we are going to clean it, Clean the fitting. Fluxy from Biloxi. We don't want to burn anything, so we're going to wrap this up with a wet rag, like so.
right, so now that is chill like a vill. We're going to put the liquid Teflon. Ote. Remember the Ote? We want the nooks and crannies. All right, so now we're going to put the excussion ring on here, and we'll be right back. Okay, so in the little bag, you've got two long screws, long stainless steel screws. Find those, two of them. You have this beautification ring that fits right in here. It only goes one way. We have one screw up high and one screw down low. So this fits over like so. And you find that screw in the back. I got lucky. I think we're going to tighten that up by hand. We're not going to go any tighter. So then this little bugger goes on here. And now there's two other screws. One screw has a big head on it. And that will hold this in place. goes on. Actually, I'm going to go shut the water off. Okay, so when I shut the water off, I could turn this sideways. This comes with an Allen key and this little screw with blue Loctite on it. You want to hold that in place. Alright, so let me turn the water back on. And voila. So next we're going to work on the new shower head. shower head. Let's get this old one off here. Oh. Take this off. you got this exposed, you can clean this this pipe so it doesn't look scuzzy. And we have a brand new excussion ring and we will probably
probably put a dab of glue back behind that. And lastly, I like to put a little dabble do ya of this schmutz on here because I don't want nothing leaking anywhere ever. Capiche? No leaks. I don't got time for leaks. When my phone rings, I cringe. Capiche? Alright, so let's get this on here and tight. I just made a mess. I touched the Teflon. We're going to clean up that mess and tighten this little bugger up. This excussion ring is going to need a dab of adhesive. And we'll just hook a little dollop and push it into the dollop. And when it dries, we're all good. So let's give this a test drive, folks. Alright, we're going to test this out for any leaks. Looks pretty good to me. Damn it, how come everyone...